I guess I must have been pretty good this last year because for my birthday this year my wife gave me the legendary Kodak 51000, largest commercial puzzle in the world. If you google the topic of largest puzzles you'll find some groups that have made their own custom puzzles that are even bigger than this one. But this is the biggest so far that you can buy commercially. It is Kodak, so I'm very excited. I believe the quality of the images will be pretty stunning. And the subjects that you see here are also uh, very attractive. And usually, I don't even solve a lot of puzzles about landscapes, but the images of this puzzle are just so stunning. 27 wonders from around the world. We got New York City, the Colosseum, Great Wall of China, um, Venice, Niagara Falls, Coral Reef, Taj Mahal, Santorini. Very excited. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the puzzle. This is sort of like an intro video. And then in future videos, I will update you about my progress. Don't hold your breath. It's gonna take me a while before I complete this baby here. Also because in the meanwhile, I will still uh, be solving other puzzles too. There are just so many nice puzzles out there, I cannot commit to just one style for, well, for this long. And so probably I will solve a puzzle, complete a section of this one, solve another puzzle, complete another section of this one, and so on and so forth. So, first thing I want to do is to dispel a common misunderstanding about the puzzle. This is huge. When completed, I'm told that it's going to be 28 feet approximately by 6. It's going to be huge. And so the first thing I tell you is I don't have a room at home to solve a puzzle this big. Uh, so what am I going to do? Easy. I'm going to solve the puzzle one panel at a time. The puzzle is 27 panels of about 1900 pieces each each representing a different wonder from around the world. And it is bagged separately. Each bag is numbered, starting from bag number one, which has this illustration here in your CD, and then we have bag number two, three, four, and so on and so forth. So actually, the amazing thing is that this is an incredibly flexible puzzle. You can solve it uh, as the largest puzzle in the world, open all the bags, mix them in, in case you want a real challenge and you hate your life, you can do that, that's up to you, it's your puzzle, you do whatever you want. But also you will need at least 28 feet, uh, 28 feet long table, or be happy to work on the floor if you have a room that big, no pets, no kids. Realistically, most of us are gonna do these panels of the puzzle one at a time. So actually, most likely, if you do puzzles, you do have enough room at home to solve the largest puzzle in the world, as long as you do, like I do, as long as you have enough room to solve a puzzle, which is uh, a 2K, 2,000 piece puzzles, you puzzle, you can do this one, which is what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve a panel, then I'm gonna store it away, do another puzzle, come back, do another panel, and so on and so forth. The instructions here recommend not to glue the pieces of the puzzle together, not to glue each panel separately, but to wait until you have the whole thing and then you glue it. And I'm not going to do that. I hope that's not going to be a problem. You'll find out uh, what you may be doing if that is a problem. Again, because actually then what am I going to do? It's too big. My intention is to solve each of the 27 panels separately turn it into a sing each into a single solid uh, artifact using Mod Podge, which I use to uh, preserve my other puzzles. And so I'm gonna have these 27 panels that I can stack one on top of the other, probably with poster boards separating them. Huge stack of pancakes type of thing. And then from time to time, when I wanna see the whole magnificent thing, I can put them all on the floor, <clears throat> look at them, <sighs> and then put them back. So again, this way, I can have the puzzle, solve the puzzle, look at the puzzle, enjoy the puzzle, without ever really having enough room to have this monstrosity permanently in my house. Because again, if I were to, uh, to glue them all together, all 27, I don't even know that I could get them through the door, I don't have anywhere where I could store it. So I hope that it works very well, and I think it will, 
as 27 puzzles that I can then assemble from time to time into a macro puzzle. And if it doesn't, I guess I'll buy another copy and, and do it again. Important thing, in fact, the price tag is pretty scary. It's a price and maybe I shouldn't know it, but I know that this puzzle, you'll find it online between $500 and $600, depending on where you get it. This copy specifically was $550. How do I know it? Don't ask, who knows? So, it's a pretty daunting uh, price tag, but then if you think about it, uh, it's 27 puzzles, each 2,000 pieces each. That means that actually you're buying a collection of 27 puzzles, 2,000 um, pieces each, for 500 bucks, it means it's about $20 each, which is very affordable. Actually, it's probably less than you can find usually a 2,000 pieces puzzle. So that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. So it's maybe an investment actually in the long run, if you like landscapes, it may save you money if you buy this monster here as opposed to 27 single uh, puzzles, 2,000 pieces each. Now, what do you get in the box? You get uh, first here instructions, uh, again, giving you some recommendations such as don't glue each panel separately, which I'm totally going to do. A little bit of an introduction about the marvels of the world, or nothing too spectacular, nothing you wouldn't be able to Google and, and find out by yourself. A grid telling you about how to order missing pieces. So, you know, if you miss a piece, just tell us the panel, like, oh, Aja Sophia or, or Great Wall of China, and I'm missing all 33, for example. Which also makes me wonder if indeed all the puzzles will have the same grid, will be cut all in the same way. Or this is just an abstract representation, like the grid is always the same, but the pieces are different in each puzzle. I'll tell you after I solve some of these. So we get the instructions and the form on how to order missing pieces. It seems to be implied you can order only one. Well, I hope I'll, I'll not missing any, but we'll see if I miss two or three if they'll be generous and give me those. Then we have a poster uh, with the images that you can use as a guide. And this is the one thing that so far is a little bit disappointing because I expect uh, the images to be a lot bigger. I expect that this poster to give me, I don't know, each image to be at least this big. Not necessarily the whole lid that you would have if you were buying a single puzzle um, with a single panel, but a little bigger. Because frankly, I have this poster, which is great, but then really the, the size of the images on the poster is not any bigger than the size of the images on the box. Actually, I measured it, it's exactly the same. So not much of an advantage really in terms of solving a puzzle to have a poster as a guy that is exactly the same as the box when the box is pretty. The images on the box are fairly small. So for those of you that have grown not only white, but also partially blind in the pursuit of puzzling, this may be a little tough. Uh, some of these images are famous. I guess you can find a larger image online, but probably looks like different, maybe the angle, the color. So as a guide, that's a little bit disappointing that the images uh, that you have as a guide <clears throat> for a 2000 piece puzzle are this small. When it comes to looking at the clouds over Santorini, I think I would have liked. I would have liked. No, I would have loved to have a bigger image to use as a reference. And then what we have is three boxes, each containing nine puzzles, and each is numbered separately, and you can easily tell which bag is which. This is bag eighteen. So that would be, well, one of these would be Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I can totally see, totally Rio de Janeiro. Back separately. And just at the first glance, the colors look really, really impressive. As you can expect from a Kodak product, it basically invented photographs. So if they mess up images in a puzzle, I don't, I don't know what the life has any meaning anymore. Um, the pieces seem to be sturdy, glossy, a little bit on the thin side. That's a little bit surprising. I mean, I'd maybe just be spoiled because I did a couple of pong grenade recently. Um, it's more like the thickness you expect from your graphics. But, well, 
they look good, they look promising. And that's pretty much what I have to say so far. I guess the most important thing that I wanted to convey to you that I've been saying a lot of comments online the last two days is you don't have to have the largest house in the world to solve the largest puzzle in the world. And when you do the math, it is not that expensive considering what you get. So Kodak, world's largest puzzle, exciting, beautiful. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned, as uh, probably I'll update you. Maybe not every panel, maybe every two panels or something like that, or every panel, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Can't wait to get started. Actually, I'm probably getting started tonight. So I gotta say bye for now, because I got I got some work to do. Stay tuned, happy puzzling, and well, enjoy the quarantine as much as you can. These are difficult times. Puzzling can be one way for you to find some inner balance and peace. I, at least I know it is for me. And this could be a project that's gonna keep you company for a while.